things around the world that are bubbles, bangles, and pizzas, and beans. These are all the things appears like round figure that is called circle. So circles. Circle either can be drawn with a free hand or along with a compass with a fixed point. Let it take let us take a point, a fixed point, and using this fixed point, let us draw a circle. So this is the circle. The fixed point is called center of the circle. From the fixed point, take any point on the circle and join it. This is called radius of the circle. So let us take the point OA. This OA is called radius of the circle. From the radius, and from point O, if you take any other point on the circle, this is also equal to OA. Let's take the point B, and when we compare O and OB here, so the measurement of O and O B are equal. And we can understand that from center to any point of the circle is called radius and that all radii are equal. So here O A is equal to O B is equal to O C. It's called radius of the circle. So in there are infinite radii can be drawn for a circle. And let us take so we understood here, this is OA is equals to OB is equals to OC. It's the radius of the circle. So we have this goes. This is from point A. It's the center to any point of the circle is radius. If you flip this side to left hand and it pops another radius to the point B. And this is called a B is the diameter of the circle. So diameter is nothing but the radius and the radius. Two times of the radius. So diameter is two times of the radius. And when we see here, the diameter it passes to the center of the circle. And when we take here any point on the circle and we join with another point on the circle, this is the chord of the circle. It's the chord of a circle. And when we take this chord to the above of the circle and the chord, the sizes increases. So let us take here. This is the chord of the circle is 4 centimeters. Then when we take the points of 2 on the circle above it, it's chord. Then the length of the curve increases and it becomes approximately 6 cm. For example, and when we observe this chord, above chord, this is also called chord because when we join the two points on the circle, it's called chord of the circle. And then we understood here the diameter is also called chord of the circle and this is 10 cm. And we have this curse about diameter of the circle. It's two times, it's two times of radius. So OA is 5 centimeters and OB is 5 centimeters. And that is equal to diameter of the circle. So here we understood. So AB is the chord of the circle. That is nothing but diameter. And a diameter is called chord of a circle. But every chord is not called as a diameter of the circle. So when we take the above of the diameter, two points, when we join it, it's less than the diameter. So and we take the above it and then it decreases the size of this previous side, previous points of this. So let us take this is six centimeters. We 
which is EF. And when we take these points, two points, and X is GH, and decreases a side, and when we go to, towards a circumference. So here we have observed here. Infinite diameters can be drawn on the circle. And also we have taken any two points on the circle which is passing through the center of the circle. Its diameter we have drawn another diameter. And let us take point here and to the center of the circle is another diameter. So here we have the story. So infinite diameters can be drawn in a circle. And the infinite radii drawn in a circle. So here, let us take a circle. Start a point. From this point, if you rotate along with the circle, to that particular point, this is called circumference of the circle, and, and from this point, we have taken any other point D. At this point, is called center of the circle. We have discussed earlier, and when we join these three points. When we join these two points from the circle, any point on the circle to the radius, and the radius to another point of the circle, the region is formed, is called sector. It's nothing but when we have taken a pizza and we curve pizza into some of the parts and take that part of the pizza. The part of pizza. This pizza is called sector. The region form above. Here, this is called sector of the circle. Let us take the circle. I have taken a circle the center O and taken any two points on the circle and join these two points on the circle it's called secant of the circle let us recall it we have taken two points on the circle any two points on the circle joined it, we call secant of the circle and take a point on the circle, passing through it, the point, we are drawn a line, this line is called tangent of the circle, it's nothing but, and we draw a line is touching at one point of the circle is called tangent of the circle. If it is joined at two points, like intersecting, it's called secant of the circle. There's a difference between secant and tangent. Tangent is intersecting the circle at two points, but tangent is touching the circle at one point the tangent when we take any point of the circle and through it we draw a line passing through it it's called tangent to a circle let's take this is x y x y is tangent to a circle and what is the center of the circle from O to the tangent to the circle we have drawn a line it's called O to Eight. We need to prove that OA is perpendicular to XY. We need to prove that OA is perpendicular to XY. So to prove to prove this, 
Let us take any point which is on outside of the circle which lies on x, y, tangent. So let us take this point as q. When we join this O to Q, it forms a line segment. Let us see here. The line which is intersecting the circle is taken as point P. And here we can observe that OE and OP are the radius of the circle. The reason is center to any point of the circle is called radius. Center to any point of the circle is radius. The radius of the circle are equal. So OE and OP are equal here. So OE is equal to OP and its radius. So here we can observe that OE and OP are equal and OQ is greater than OP. Reasons here. OP is a part of OQ. So OQ is always greater than OP. Here we are observing that OP is less than OQ. It's starting by OQ is greater than OP because OQ is in the part of OP. Nothing but OP is part of OQ. OP is a part of OQ. So that's the reason OQ is greater than OP. Here we know that OP and OA are equal. So in place of OP, we can take OE. So the reason is both are equal. So in place of OP, we are taking it as OA. So OQ is greater than OE. So we understood here. OQ is always greater than OE. And when we take any point on the circle, on the outside of the circle, which is on tangent, is always greater than the point which is from the distance from O and A. So here we observe OA is the shortest distance among this all which we have taken the point on x, y, tangent. So we conclude that OA is the shortest distance from O to x, y. So when this is the shortest distance, this is called as perpendicular. So we have proved that OA is perpendicular to x, y because it's the shortest distance in all which is lies on the tangent to your soul.